If you are practicing Christianity, as one would infer from biblical precedents, you're a collectivist. Like the Bible is unambiguous in how it wants you to live your life. Um, you know, he who has two robes shall give one to who he has none. The workers all sit down and eat together. All of that is there. If Christianity, however, is a foundational mythology that informs your white supremacism um, and you use that to define yourself, you can only define your Christian beliefs in opposition to this evil other nasty thing because your conception of christianity is a conception of the crusades it's a it's a conception of western imperialism of western supremacy white supremacy and all of the ideology and dogma that goes with justifying some pretty horrific things like colonization and you know stolen generations and and the, the and the kind of precedence of culture that are used to oppress people and the, the thing about multiculturalism and I keep getting back to like feminism has been incredibly successful absolutely incredibly successful in reconstituting a paradigm of what it means to be Western. Like what it means to live in Western culture is to accept that women are actually equal. And this movement that is gradually chipping away at things like a gender pay gap and the divide and the fact that um, all of the protections that used to exist for men in law have one by one been taken away. It used to be legal to rape your wife in parts of Australia until 1995. And yet an organised, concerted movement has, has, has totally redefined um, the, the terms of engagement for what it means to be Western. If you are from a, an ideological and, and, um, and community tradition that posits yourself as the centre of supremacy, you can only justify that supremacy by fighting an enemy. And that is, that is the middle class um, engagement with of the right with Islam and you look at people like um what's his name he's got it's not Lyle Shelton it's the other one um Bernard Gaynor Bernard Gaynor is typical of this movement he's you know a religiously identified person he's like a, a you know flag waving homophobe and the fact that marriage equality is even a conversation in this country is terrifying to this particular worldview. And so you have Bernard Gaynor running with the Australian Liberty Alliance, which is the electoral manifestation of the middle class right, and running on this clash of civilizations because they're trying to get their supremacy back, destroy them queers, destroy them women, destroy them Islam in this oppositional way. Is that comprehensive? <laughs>